Hi and welcome to Old Time Knowledge. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make sweet tea. Yes, just regular old sweet tea. And I know a lot of people think, oh, that's easy. You just make some tea and you put some sugar in it. There is a trick to this. There's a trick to getting it right. And there's a reason why some people, when they make sweet tea, it does not come out tasting like the really good sweet tea you get at some restaurants here in the South. But I know how to make it right, so I'm gonna show you. So stick with me and we'll get right to it. If you're making a gallon of sweet tea, you are going to use two full cups of sugar. If you're making a half gallon, you're only gonna use a cup. So this is, this is a half cup measuring cup. I'm adding four of these to this pot. This water is going to come to a boil and it's going to completely dissolve that sugar in that water. At that point, I'm going to be taking the water off of the burner and it's going to still be hot because it's just finished boiling. And I'm going to add the tea bags in and let them steep at that point. So just bear with me. We'll get this water to a boil and I'll show you what it's like. All right. You can see now how that sugar has pretty much melted. The water is not at a complete boil yet, but it's trying to boil. It's just struggling because there's so much sugar in the water. You might be wondering, well, how much water do I put in the pot? That doesn't matter. All that matters is that you have enough water in the pot to thoroughly melt the sugar and get it dissolved. And could, because you're just going to be basically creating your tea concentrate with with this sugar water and then you're going to be adding this to your pitcher whether it's a gallon pitcher or a half gallon pitcher or whatever you're just going to be adding that to this so the as long as you end up with a full pitcher when it's all done and you've got the right quantities of sugar and tea bags and things like that it's going to be just fine while this is um, about to come to a boil I see the bubble starting to form I'm going to talk about tea um, in my family here in Eastern North Carolina, we have always used Lipton. That's the brand we've always used. And I know I've seen some people talk about using Louisiana and how old, that's, that's the only true Southern tea and that's nonsense. Anybody who tells you there's one Southern way of doing things, there is wrong. I'm even telling you how to make sweet tea. But that doesn't mean there's not other ways people do make sweet tea. This is just the way we like it here in Eastern North Carolina. This is the way you would get it if you went to any of the barbecue restaurants and they serve sweet tea. It's going to be similar to this. It's going to be real sweet. But the thing with Lipton is, I don't know if people know this, but Lipton is actually the oldest brand. Lipton, Lipton was founded in 1890 by a fellow from Scotland. And um, the Louisiana brand didn't even come about until around 1902. So, well, the brand started, I think, in 1901, but they started making tea in 1902. So anyway, we use the Lipton brand. That's what we've always used. Um, it's reliable. Sometimes we get the family size bags. Sometimes we get these bags that, I guess these are the individual tea bags now that I look at it. Yeah, those are the individual ones. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna tell you a trick. On the box, it's gonna tell you how many bags of tea to use to make a pitcher of tea, depending on what size pitcher you're gonna make. But you can sometimes cut that amount back if you just let your tea steep longer because your tea is just going to get as strong as you steep it. And so, whereas when I'm making this, according to the recipe on the box, it would say for this size bag to use about eight tea bags. I'm not going to use eight tea bags. I'm going to use six. And I, I just steep it for a while. I steep it for probably anywhere from five to ten minutes. I'm not, I'm not in a hurry. Um, and it comes out good. Now you see that that water has come to a boil. It's just really boiling good. That sugar is completely dissolved. Completely dissolved. So that's what we want. We want that sugar to be completely dissolved in the water so that when we put the tea bags in there, the tea bags are going to be steeping in pure sugar water. I'm going to turn this burner off. I'm going to move this over and I'm going to put these tea bags in and I'm just leaving those tea bags to steep. 
like I say, for anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Most of the time when I do this, I'm busy doing other things. And so um, they it steeps. And when I get done doing the other things I need to do, I just pour this concentrate into the pitcher of water and get it mixed. And then I serve it over ice. So um, I'm just gonna let this tea steep. And once it's ready, I'll show you what I do. All right, y'all, I'd say this tea is done. I would say this tea is done steeping. So I'm just gonna get this ready to transfer into the pitcher. Now, usually what I'll do is I, with these tea bags that have been steeping, I'll just give them a little squeeze to get the last little bit of tea out. I don't wanna waste any of that, this is good stuff. And I'm just gonna add this right in here and a lot of times I'll go ahead and add some ice to the pitcher to get it full all the way but for now this is fine I'll add some some ice to it in just a minute but I have my I have my glass right here And there we go, a delicious glass of sweet tea. That's good, y'all. That is so good. Well, I hope you make some. I hope you make some sweet tea. And if you want to cut back on the sugar, you can cut back on the sugar. I'm just telling you, this is how we do it to get that really sweet tea flavor that you get when you're in Eastern North Carolina and you go to local barbecue restaurants or other kinds of like seafood restaurants and they serve sweet tea, it's going to be like this. This is how you do it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, then you will be able to see it, any videos when they come out. In fact, hit the little notification bell so they will notify you when a new video comes out. This is a short video some of them are a lot longer, but I often take talk about making all kinds of things, all kinds of southern foods, um, but other things as well. So thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.